Hola amigos, hola amigas, welcome, bienvenido, Christo y Salam, welcome to the channel, y'all, Chash and Yakshimaj. Good day, y'all, and woof woof, as you can see from the picture of the intro, and also what you can see in front of me, yes, the dogs have had another haircut five months later from their last one, and as you can see, we have a lovely pile of fur, and that's what we're going to be using today for the big mess test. I was deliberating on which machines to use and I decided to use these. So these are the three Electrolux Turbo 2s or Twin Turbo that I have. The red one, burgundy, deep burgundy, the cream one and the grey one. So that's what we're going to be using today to pick up the mess. We are going to be using the extension hose for it. Uh, I'm not going to be vacuuming it up through the head. I'm going to be using the extension hose to vacuum these up. Inside there we've got three fresh bags. What I'm going to do is once I've finished using them with the dog fur, it is very easy for me to be able to vacuum up using the Henry vacuum out just the fur so that they won't go to waste and um, I can reuse them because there's only going to be fur inside them and it's a bit of a waste of three fake Siebel bags. So inside each of these is a fake Siebel bag. I've also put the silver trim on these just to give them that little finishing off and uh, yeah they look really good. So if we just have a quick look at this one, there we go, you can see all ready to go with a bag. Ready to do a test. This one has got an electronic uh, full bag indicator. These two are um, probably more economy brand and um, they've just got piston bag fill indicators on them. So it'll be interesting to see them work. And this one with the light. I know it does work because after I did a polish on it, it did uh, come on. This one's got the Royal Crest here at the top. This one's got it at the front, and this one, unfortunately, it has come off quite a bit. There's a lot of gouges and scratches on this, so it's been used, unfortunately, for that. But yeah, okay, let's crack on. So I'm gonna get the hose set up, I'm gonna divide the mess into three, and let's see how we do. So here we have the first one that we're gonna use, which is the Electrolux Twin Turbo in a lovely burgundy color. And this one, if I look at the label on it this is the z1010 serial number 3733 product number 9004461 550 watts so if i just turn it on for you to hear that sounds very good so let's pull the Port to one side, pop in the hose and twist, there we go, we are now ready. Okay, the machine is ready, the pile of fur is ready, I've split it up into three parts, so let's see how much we can get in before the bag light comes on, so whoop, let me just you into position and let's see if I move you back a bit there we go so you can see the machine as well let's give it a go
Hmm. I don't know if this is actually getting sucked in or it's blocked. Yeah, it is. <laughs> this is not a super duper vacuum for doing this kind of thing. Let's take a look at the top. And the bag hasn't fully inflated and the fur. Let me twist you up so you can see what I'm doing. These are not amazing machines for big fur tests because the air path on it is quite convoluted. And yeah, so I'm gonna, this is only for fun. This is only for a demo. It's just nice to use these machines for a bit of fun. Right, so the bag is a little bit more inflated. So let's see. Okay, a bit better suction on it, let's try it again. Unfortunately, you can only do little pieces. So the indicator light's not on yet, which is good. Yeah, it's still got the same suction, so it's going okay. Red light's not on yet, the bag indicates the light. This just won't cope with big chunks. Suction's not amazing on it, but it's still, this means that the bag is still filling up. Okay, you did it all. Okay, so 
let's take a look and see if there's anything stuck there. No, nope, nothing there. Nothing on the inside of there, so it went in. Let me move you up so you can see inside the bag. Yeah, there's still plenty of room left in the bag. So, I just take the bag off. Yeah, it's all gone in. Let's just try and squish the bag down. Stacks the room now. It's only gone down as far as that. Okay, let's continue. Let's see how much we can get in this bad boy. Right, let's close that. Close it up. Okay, and let's continue with the next bit of food. Okay. Blockage. I think there's a blockage. No, nope, nothing there. Let me have a quick look at the top. Yes, there is a little bit. Still a bit of room left on the top, so let's keep going. Okay, I'm shaking it down, so the fur is now down to there. Let's see how much we can get in. Pack it back down. Any fur at the bottom, so there's no fur at the bottom, but I think the bag is now full. The full bag indicator light hasn't come on. And there is still a bit more room in the bag, but the fur is stuck inside. Oops. So there we go. That is that. Let's try another one. The next one we're going to try is the Z1055. That also has 500 watts as well. So let's gently pull that to one side. Pop in the hose. Okay, and let's give it a go. So as you guys would have seen, this is the most recent one that I've refurbed and did the retro brighting on. So, I do like this machine. Okay, let's give it a go. Suction on it feels exactly the same as the other one, even sounds the same.
Well, that's the tail for our tail pin. Doesn't feel like I'm losing suction yet. I'm starting to lose suction. Okay, let's have a look at the back. Okay, so there's no fur in there. Let's take a look at the back. Nothing stuck in there like the other one, but the bag is kind of full, but we will squash it down. Down, right down. Just doesn't have the power like the um, modern ones do. Remember, this is just a fun test. Okay. continue and see how much more we can get in.
bardzo. O, no suction left. Let's have a look at there's any stuck. No, there's nothing stuck in there, so it's gone into the machine, which is really good. Now let's go back and have a look at the bag. Now let's see if the piston indicator's on. No. Okay. Let's have a look inside. Yeah, it's got stuck in there. A little bit. Down in here. It is quite a convoluted air passage on this. But still, this is an extreme test. Unless you work in the dog parlor. Dog parlor. So there we go, that bag is pretty much full as well of the fur and it's only left. There we go. It's only left that little amount. And if I squish this bag down even more, I'm positive we would get the last of it in. So let's see if we can do that. Da -da 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 -da. Right. Let's put the hose back on. Right, okay, let's see if we can get the rest of it up. Okay, here goes. this little amount back in back out I should say and let's take a look at the bag let me take it off yeah it's chocker the bag is chocker block oh, there we go there's not much unfortunately unlike um, a Felix or um, a Felix or a, or a Cebo upright the, it does have these fins down there for the bag, but um, you know, to make air fill through, you know what I mean. Anyway, um, it's got them, but it's still, the bag is pretty full, so that was causing issues. But the um, piston indicator didn't work on it, so hmm, who knows. Right, let's try the last machine I have. And finally, we have the Z1070A. This... Uh, Product number 9004482, serial number 01288. Is it 88? 68, sorry. Again, 550 watts, so they never really up the power on. This one's got the motor, which is a little bit grindy. <laughs> But it does work really well and this was my childhood vac not this specific one but the same one as this in this color exactly except i added on a little bit of trim to make it look pretty right let's connect the hose check the bag beforehand and it's fine so let's see if we do this It picked up the rest, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to empty one of these bags and see. Actually, I'm going to empty the fullest one and uh, see how we do. 
So it can be easy to open these bags. I just pull along the seams at the bottom so you don't destroy it. And pull the fur out. Ooh. Oh, I forgot there's um, smelly beads in it. Duh! I have to pick up smelly beads as well. And then, like with the um, old fashioned paper ones, you can do that, which I will do. And then fold it over and over, and then put a bag clip on it, and that will be absolutely fine. So that's what I'm going to do. Right. Let's crack on with this and see how much we can pick up, including all the delicious, lovely smelling lavender beads. Okay, let's go. This feels more powerful. I don't know why. Testing on this is working, I'll show you now. It just feels a lot more powerful for some reason. no fur apart from a couple of bits stuck at the trap let's open it up and have a look okay. now I don't know this one just feels this vacuum just feels so much more powerful I don't know why maybe they Maybe because the motor's in better condition, I don't know, but to change the fans or something, the blades, I don't know, but 
This one definitely feels more powerful, even though it's still only 50 for 550 watts. When I got the hose on, and even when there's nothing in it, I put my hand over the hose, it just feels stronger. Oop. Tip you over there. I tell you what, I don't know how Sam can do this on the floor. My knees are killing me. Just feels more powerful on the touch than the other two. Right, okay, let's continue feeding fur in. stuck in there so it's the bag really because the bag is full of food well, let's get you on top oh my knees cheapest creepers let's take it on <laughs> here's a bit of fur stuck in there not as much as the others but still a bit and the bag's pretty full I just don't know why this has seemed to have more power into it. Luck of the draw. Right, okay, so there we go. So we didn't pick up everything, but that was already picked up. We've got one, two uh, bags here, which are full. So like I said, what I normally do is I vac them out with the pneumatic, fold them up at the bottom like the paper ones and put the seal across it. And then they're fine to go because this is just a firm mess as I don't want to waste bags. These are the fake bags. You can either use these ones for the X series or for the Felix. Um, either one will be will be fine. And these will keep the machine in tip top condition for a long time to come. And the piston does work on that, which is really cool. Okay, so there we go. So let's finish off the video. Let me get all the machines sorted. So there we go, my friends. That is the fur picked up from doing the three little doggies. There's one over there. Zach, Zach. There he is, there's Zach with the cats. The other two are in the living room watching TV. And I'm in here making these videos. So there we go. That are the three Z series that I have at the Electroluxes. If you haven't seen a whole house demos of these, you will at some point. And I hope you've enjoyed because it's just a bit of fun to use them. Um, I do use all the vacuums regularly. I make sure I go through a rotor of using all the machines in turn uh, in the Hoover room to keep them just in you, stop them from, you know, you know, just keeping them in you. <laughs> anyway, thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed. I have to go clean that mess up now and put the bags back in. So I will see you guys in the next episode. And thank you so much. Please comment, like, and subscribe. Thank you. Bye.